A bright fall sun shone down on the campus of Southeastern this morning as Lewis Drummond and Billy Graham waited for the procession to begin. Hundreds of well-wishers had arrived to watch the installation of the school's new president. There were signs of protest here on the campus. Those who favored the old administration made themselves clearly visible. Wearing yellow ribbons and black clothing, students for academic freedom staged what they called an inaugural presence outside Binkley Chapel. They stood silently as the inaugural procession marched by. Inside, faculty, students, and friends watched and listened as Billy Graham praised the school's new leader. Still suffering from the effects of a spider bite which nearly cost him his left leg, Graham said he had canceled many of his appearances of late, but he said he wanted to be present at the inauguration of a man he called an old teammate. Citing the troubles the campus has been through, the Charlotte-born evangelist said Lewis Drummond is the right man for the time. He's always been a healer. And to me, this is very vital at this particular time. It's my prayer that God will bless this seminary and everyone ought to be in prayer for our new president. As Lewis Drummond became the school's fourth and newest president, he told those gathered he had a vision for the students who graduate from Southeastern. That men and women may leave here being able to minister with effect the gospel of Jesus Christ and with the highest possible standards of ethical, Christ-like living. Still many faculty and students here showed their displeasure by not participating in the standing ovation for Drummond, and there are indications things could get worse for the school. Fall enrollment was down 20 percent from a year ago, a result of the controversy that has surrounded this picturesque campus.